in our growing up days, I mean, those, at least those of us who are 40 years and above, um, when we used to watch um, NTA, which was the station, we used to see the town criers who go around to announce things that the, the Bale or the KBC had said. That really was the, that really was public relations at the most elementary level, town criers. Now, for the kind of politicians that are seated here, we cannot afford, in quotes, the humongous amounts required for, to run for office or that those who are already entrenched in the system have. Um, if Tari were to set, run a budget, to set up a budget of what she needs, I'm sure that amongst family and friends, they won't, um, they won't come to her to bail her, sorry, they won't um, rally around her to bail her out. Now, the reason is not because they don't have it, but somewhere at the back of their mind, they just would already have concluded that she cannot win. So now the church to the rescue. Will the church allow her to address the congregation for 10 minutes at the end of the service? Will the church allow her to distribute her flyers at the entry or ent exit of the church during service? Will the church mobilize to say, all their members should go and join her party or everybody should go and vote and those who have certain problems will get a meal ticket or something. So I'll give you an example. I think it was at the last Big Brother um, during injury time, there was a guy called Lekon who eventually won and somewhere in Sabo Yaba and I heard it happened in a lot of other places, people were cooking and they said vote for Lekon and you will get a meal ticket. Or something. Yeah, it happened. People were doing Amala joints for just so that Lincoln could win. Is it possible that church members can do the same for aspirants or candidates from their churches or Christians altogether for one of theirs to emerge? Is it also possible? I mean, these are ideas that I am dropping. Is it also possible that the Christian dom or the Christian family identify maybe seven or ten of the 90 political parties and say, okay, Every one of you, we have read the manifesto or the agenda of some of these parties, and we're encouraging you to go and join ABC, XYZ, LLL, OON, any of those parties. We want those parties to have our members so that when it is time for local government elections or when INEC announces the timetable for the 2023 general elections, we already have about seven people such that those seven people, whichever one emerges, we know that we are putting forward the best of us. Um, one of the many jokes that people um, put forward in 2019 was if the number of followers of Feladuru Toye alone voted for him, I'm sure that he would have emerged one of the top five. But we like Feladuru Toye, we like the things he says. It is now time to put, in quotes, our money where our mouth is, but no, we say, oh, he can't win. I'm forgetting that, like Libora said, we are the structure his party is immaterial on the day of the election if 10 people volunteers to be canvassers and agents for him his house of representative candidates his senatorial candidates his governorship candidates 10 of us because we don't need the 3,000 or 5,000 that Irene has to mobilize so that she can be able to pay everybody in the polling booths the people, in quote, who support Feladro to you don't need those mega amounts. My final point, in 2011, when Fashola was running for his second term in his community, I just saw a my, um, gramophone, or that thing, lying fallow, and I picked it, and I started playing, and I was shouting, and people were coming out to vote. It was after the election that I found out that some people were actually paid to do what I did for fun, canvassers. So in the build-up to elections, you will find people who are clamoring. They are struggling to say, oh, I'm going to be the canvasser at this polling unit. I'm going to be the agent for that polling, but not because they love the process, but because there's a certain amount allocated to it.